Hey guys. Well, in this video, I just want to be genuine to my feelings, uh, not do too orchestrated. Uh, and just title this video, I Hate Life. Uh, why am I going to title it that? Because sometimes that's how I feel. Uh, and I'm very blessed. I'm very thankful. Uh, but some things they don't teach in school and they don't teach in life where they try to make you feel like uh, something's wrong with you. Now, you could have something wrong uh, mentally, emotionally. There's People range on the spectrum of life of how much they struggle with life. Uh, everyone's a little bit different. So I, I can't speak to everyone, but I, I just want to acknowledge the mental thought of hating life, uh, of stress. Uh, and it's just, it's part of life. Uh, not necessarily some big thing that needs to be diagnosed. Maybe it is. Again, everyone's different. You know you for the most part. Uh, so how do I deal with it when I really feel negative uh, or I hate life? Well, one is I don't lash out on people. Uh, I never have. I'm not the type of person. I really don't like those type of people. I, I, I stay away from them. For me, how I exercise self-care when I'm really struggling mentally is I like even more time by myself because uh, I, I just like to let that stress burn off my mind. I like to process. You know, my mind is noisy when I hate life. Uh, I'm thinking about uh, not not dark things, but I'm just thinking about the stresses of life, the meaninglessness. You know, life is really no meaning. It's really a bunch of crap. So I'm just, I'm, I'm letting like these negative thoughts kind of fume off and exhaust without lashing out, without doing any type of uh, self-harm. Just, you know, I just understand life. You know, I'm very, I can look at the negative part of life, not dive into it and just let it pass, you know, and just let that wave pass. It, it probably will come again. But, you know, of course, this is what I've learned. This is what I'm sharing, being very honest in this video, very genuine. I'm not trying to, I don't have orchestrated five points to what to do. But even today, like, you know, I was really uh, having some uh, just not depressed thoughts, but just uh, I hate life thoughts, period. And some guy sit, sit next to me in a coffee shop and he wants to talk about life. Older guy, just got out of the hospital. Uh, he smelled. Um, he was on the phone with the doctor about uh, different tests he need to take. And then he started telling me a story uh about something he was involved with and he, he said some negative things in it and it's like he's talking loud he's got his own issues he's talking loud to me now and I'm trying to mind my own business and he's saying some negative things and everyone's hearing him and it's like I'm associated with this guy and I'm just trying to be nice and listen to him and that made my mind go oh my god here I am I'm trying to mind my business be positive and you know just decompress you know, stay productive on my own life. This guy's exhausting his life onto me and he's saying negative things that I don't agree with and everyone else is associating him with me. And, and I don't want to like, you know, he's an older guy. I mean, how much do you want to correct an older guy and make a scene? So I just tried to let him talk and then I got the hell out of there. So what do you do when you hate life? For me, I like to spend time by myself. I like to do productive things. I go for a walk. I just like to disengage from people and not, um, whatever it takes for me to walk away from the table of others, to be by myself, that's self-care. Uh, you know, is that a magical answer? No, there's, you're going to find in life, uh, part of the truth of life is there's no magical answer to weight loss. Uh, weight loss is basically you got to stop eating crap and you got to walk more. You got to be active more, but your diet's your main thing. Um, relationships, there's no magical answer that you can work it out with date night or dress me up as a horse night. You know, the answer is, look, sometimes you outgrow people and, you know, it's painful to separate yourself from people. Uh, you know, negative thoughts. Uh, the answer is, you know, again, everyone's different there. You know, some people may need, uh, everyone's different. I'm not here to diagnose you. I'm sharing my life. I'm being honest. Even in the Bible, they talked about the richest, wisest person talked about how he hated life and it was all meaningless. So there's nothing new under the sun. It's been going on since the beginning of time and there's not necessarily anything wrong with you. So that's kind of like, just it's just part of life. And they never talk about it in school or in the higher echelons of society, whether it's political, religious, whatever. And they try to, again, make you feel like you know, something's wrong with you. 
Now, you shouldn't be lashing out on other people. You shouldn't be hurting yourself or hurting others, but you should just work through this. Uh, if you can, some people can, some people need support groups, and that's understandable, you know, there's nothing wrong with that either. Uh, again, I think minimalism helps. I, I definitely know it helps. It helps me because I got less to worry about. Stress causes the hate of life. A little bit life is a little bit meaningless, so that's part of it. Uh, you know, people try to like find meaning, like, you know, they come up with some real re religious uh, theology or they come up with some like patriotism or something. You know, life is, is about adding to society, trying to be a positive influence, being thankful, all those things. But, you know, look, just a lot of people just get caught in that because that's what helps them. And I understand that. Uh, so is this like a viral video? Uh, no, but it's just a genuine video. When you live simple and you're not on the hook to a lot of people, you know, you can kind of just live your truth without worrying about, you know, am I going to reach the masses? So... You know, and social media could be a burden too. People are a burden. Social media is a burden because then everyone everyone wants you like to entertain them. Like everyone wants your video to be entertaining. Everyone, you know, and their life is pff, opposite of entertaining. Their life is like disaster zone and they want you to make them happy. That's kind of what you sign up for too at YouTube. You know, at a certain point, people want you to like, you know, make them happy uh, and you got to carry their burdens. It's like, oh, that's why I want to get away from people. These are all my thoughts this morning. Honest thoughts. I could talk a million things about living out of car, how do I stay hot, how do I stay cool, <laughs> five steps to this, five steps to that, but then we start, I can't do that, because then it's like, you know, I'm not being me, I ain't doing that, it's a disaster out there, guys, stay positive, though, stay productive, work out your issues, separate yourself from people, if you need help, get help, support group, whatever, but it's just part of life, guys, you'll have better days, it'll pass, and, you know, some days are crap, uh, it is what it is, stay positive, peace and love.